All right, Bears, time for our best bets of the week. Let's look at how we did in week one. You were 1-0. and oh, I was 0-1. Oh how about this? I had the under in a game. There were 32 <laughs> points in the fourth quarter, and there were 28 scored in the fourth quarter, Bear. A kickoff return and a pick six. Well, that's, what, that's what Will was talking about in the gambling group chat about how these teams and coaches now are just – Look at it, score late and, 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 and put some of these games over the total. And you, and you, you brought up as well, man. Make the boosters happy. And your best bet won by half a point. Should have won by two touchdowns. Yeah, that, that's the thing. I, I was sitting there like in, in in Fort Worth watching the game, and and when when they threw the pick on the end zone, I'm like, oh god. And then when they drove down, Hunter made the great tackle. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, they're okay. They'll still score. And then he makes the pick, and I'm like, you got it. I'm like, if I lose this under that should be over midway in the third quarter, I am gonna. Absolutely lose it and hate this season already. But best bet this week, we mentioned it already in the in the five that I gave out. Temple plus the nine against the State University of New Jersey. The defense played really well in the second half. They got to work their way into the game, allowed 40 yards in the second half against a, a team that I think they just kind of slept walked in the first half. Rutgers didn't even average four yards of play against a bad Northwestern team. Just on prerogative's sake, you got to take Temple plus plus the points here. And I think the Owls have a uh, Good chance to win this game outright. And you know Bears making this wager because no sane person would give out Temple plus nine unless they had their own money on it. No, yeah, you're, you're, yeah, you're, you're not going to get Bear giving Alabama, Texas best bet, Miami A and M best. No, you, you, you're going to get a Temple best bet, and then you're going to get like a, a New Mexico State play along the way. This is the wheelhouse right here. These are the games that we love. Well, let's get to, to my best bet of the week. It is the over. In the Coliseum, it's over 69 and a half points between Stanford and USC. Stanford uh, looked a competent offense uh, with with Troy Taylor as a new coach, with Daniels at quarterback. They scored 37 points at Hawaii. They can move the ball in USC, but more importantly, USC's offense, guys, is even maybe even better than last year. 56 points in game one, 66 in game two. The over is hit in 13 of 16 Lincoln Riley games, combined with their offense and their poor defense. This might go over in the third quarter. And also worth noting too, as, as, as we mentioned throughout the show. Backups are still trying to score. Last weekend, USC had 49 points, and their backups scored three touchdowns. Three touchdowns, Bear. Like, this is an opportunity, I think, to uh, to get this game over in the third quarter. A lot of points will be scored. And lastly, too, Stanford's not going to give up. They're going to keep trying to score and score and score in this game, even if they're down big. They're not going to pull their starters. I like the over here in the Coliseum late. And I'm not staying up to watch this game, though. I'm not staying up till 2 a.m., no? but I'll wake up in the morning and see that it cashed. See, the, the great thing about the— the, the schedule for me this week is I'll be getting home from Colorado right around midnight or so Eastern time. So I'm going to get home, fire up. The, why, why are we already asleep? I'm just going to, I'm just going to go downstairs, fire up the TV and, uh, and tune into some of these late night games. It's going to be great. Bear bets. Full episodes drop twice a week, right here on the bear bets, YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.